Hi guys, good afternoon. Thank you very much for watching my video. So today I'm looking for a little bit of help. So maybe about a month ago I purchased this 2.4 gigahertz Yagi antenna on eBay. And I think it's kind of a knockoff of something that's already available that's branded and you can buy it on Banggood and other websites. Well, I'm not 100% sure on the authenticity of this particular model. But anyway, let me just grab the cord. So here's the end. Unfortunately, it's one of those reverse polarity SMA. It's a reverse polarity SMA connector. So I've had to order some connectors off of eBay. And I originally ordered some, but then realized that I need a female to female connection for my own intents and purposes. Not to mention it's going to have to be a female RPSMA to female SMA. Well, anyway, the whole point of my video, the whole point of my video is to show that I have continuity between the solid copper core or the stinger as some people call it and the grounding shield connection. And I've checked this numbers of times so I know that I'm not touching the leads on anything. So I wanted to say that I'm not an expert on antennas and I'm still a novice when it comes to radio and electronics. But my question is this, do antennas within their manufacturing and construct ever have designs where the center core is grounding with the outer ground shielding? So if you have any insight as, as to whether this is normal in this particular design of antenna, or whether you think I have a grounding issue somewhere in the cabling, please let me know. Please leave articles from internet sites, websites, or your commentary or related videos. I appreciate all of that. So thank you very much for any opinions and advice I get. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it.